Hey what's up guys, CJ here and welcome back to another P3D video and uh, this time starting in kind of a different view because uh, because why the hell not this time we are flying Qantas this is the beautiful PMDG 747 by the way, it's amazing uh, two sex is screaming at me to close some doors so I'll just do that real quick, hold on one second Why was that door open? Strange. Anyways. Uh. Yeah. P3D video Qantas. We're flying Qantas 74 today. On service from San Francisco to Sydney International Airport in Australia. Uh. Nice place there and. Yes. Currently parked on Sand Alpha 6. Expected flight time today is 13 hours and 14 minutes. Uh. I was expecting it to be about uh, 15 hours, but according to PFPX, it's only 13 hours, which is interesting, but hey, it's what it is. Registration, Victor Hotel, Oscar, Juliet, Mike. We're not in the ER today, so we've got the Rolls-Royce engines, which are amazing. They sound amazing. There's a big kangaroo. Don't know what that is doing there. And, uh... Yeah. Scenery by Flight Beam, amazing scenery as always. Pro Flight Beam, so, uh, Flight Beam San Francisco is probably my favorite international airports. Not favorite international airport scenery. My favorite hub airports scenery because it's just amazing. Anyways, without further ado, I'll just show the side of the aircraft first. We got so jetways here, which is nice as well. With dynamic lighting, of course. I'll jump into the cockpit now. As you see, the dynamic lighting has actually lit this up really well, so it's nice. All right, first things first, I actually want to turn on some turn on some lights. So I don't want the floodlights. I want the I don't want the floodlights. I want the All the fancy lights, these ones. There you go. Okay, that's good. There you go, that's nice. I'll just turn these on as well. Okay. I'll keep the dome lights on actually because they're actually quite nice and I want to be able to see what I'm doing when I'm actually doing this. I've already got weight set up, so you don't need to worry about that. So just these to nav. Why am I doing it in that order? This is not an Airbus. <laughs> okay. So just wait for those to turn on. I'll turn the seatbelt signs on now, just so the passengers can fasten their seatbelts. And let's turn this off. No, just kidding. We won't do that. Turn this to X and PDR. Cool. Right, we can quickly jump into the FMC now. She needs to send my altimeter real quick. And that should be in hectopascals, not inches. Right, FMC. Enter IRS position. And would you look at that? I actually updated my name data. Okay. Position initialization. We are at Kilo Sierra Fox or Oscar. If I can find it. On stand Alpha 6. And our GPS position is this. It should be it, I'm not sure. It should be it, although there's a disagree there. Okay, GPS does say that. It's correct, okay. Cool. So, I'll type in the route now. So we are flying from Kilo Sierra Foxtrot Oscar to Yankee Sierra Sierra Yankee. Yankee, okay. And I'll request the route real quick. And while that does that, I'll go over our departure. 
We're departing off runway 28 right because currently winds at San Francisco are actually quite calm. Uh, if I can get Active Sky up. According to Active Sky, the winds at San Francisco are 0 knots at 0 degrees. I mean, 0 degrees at 0 knots. Which is. Yeah. There's no. Apparently, there's no winds, so. It's funny. Right. You can load the root uplink. That'll do itself very nicely there. Right. Runway 28 Romeo. Romeo? No, 28 right. Flammer. The flight number QFA 74. And 73 is Sanita, San Francisco, but I won't get into that. Right. So. Already selected the departure runway, 28 right, and departing via the gap 7 departure, and we can activate the route. Right, performance initialization. Zero fuel weight is 226.7. Reserves this flight is 4.6. Cost next is 100. And we are cruising at flight level 300, apparently. Sub size of 2000. And now I need to calculate my takeoff performance real quick. Flaps are 20 today. Automatic on that. Condition is dry, so there we go. Compute the data. There you go. So, toe 2, apparently. That's... Why toe 2? One sec. What's our takeoff weight? Strange. Why is it toe 2? What max takeoff weight? <laughs> and, uh. Okay, I just won't enter anything then. Because. We are heavy AF, and. I really don't think that. 49 degrees of toe 2 is gonna work for us. Is it not boarding? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Right, better get a move on. Look, at flaps 20, the v V2 is 181 knots. Crazy. Right. CG of 22%. Right legs. Okay, let's enter in our step climb. So, three two zero at one nine one nine or two one nine or November five zero. If I can type, I'm just going by what the FMC says because that's just me. Right, three four zero S and three six zero S. I think three six zero is the highest we're going. I think it is. If it's not, then I'll be surprised. Uh, nope. Apparently, we're going up to three eight zero at Scuba. Apparently, I'll put it. I'll put it there. Actually. Okay, root data, and we can load in the winds actually right now. Okay. Execute. And transition level at Sydney is apparently 110. Okay. Right, VNAV, and that's correct. Transalt is correct. I'll enter in our thing over here. It's one and zero. Now load the forecast. Right, we wasted too much time at FMC, so I'll quickly turn this stuff on. One eighty one is our V two. 
Heading of 280, I'll, um, I'll assume 280. 283, yeah. Flight level. I'll start the APU real quick. And RTO. I know my flows are really messed up, but hey ho. It's hot rolls. But overhead, we can turn these on. I'm turning all these on right now because we're heavy. And I need you need to turn those on because, yeah, reasons. Don't need don't need any the do not need any anti ice today. APU has already started, so I'll get ourselves onto APU. And look at that timing. The second we turn on our APU, boarding is completed. Nice. Okay, APU is connected, so we can go to FS sections. Not ground operations, ground connections. Release the ground power. There we go, Joey's are going away now. Nice, and the Joey's are going to clip each other because that's just how So wants to roll. And we can get ourselves out of here. So, obviously, it... it I mean... I think it's quite obvious we're going to have to do a nose right. That's a left pushback, so... Prefer pushback departure, and I'm going for a left pushback. Don't want to do that as well. Fuel pump stabilizer one. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll turn it off then. Apparently I don't. Apparently I don't need it. Okay, remove your talks. Go away. I'll start this clock prematurely. Alright, beacon light on. I should have done that earlier, but whatever. I also want these on. Does this airframe have auto start? No, it does not. That means I need to go into the engine page, which I'm already on. And pull these out. And those should light up. There you go. Packs off. Oh, it's got that bug again. Damn it. I don't know why. I don't know why. The sound for sound has this bug where it says FMC message, even though there's no message in the FMC. It's really strange. Listen to that, that's amazing. That is beautiful. Okay. That's a 20%. 20%. 
24, okay, pull it. Um, just X. You might want to stop. <laughs> okay, I had to manually stop that. It's fine. Alright. Still got the bug, which is annoying, but I'll have to just cancel that. I'll blind the guy because he's such a bad pushback guy, whatever you call it. Look at that light. Look at that lighting though. That's amazing. I don't like how we're how I'm half sunk into the ground. It's kind of strange, but okay. All right, let's go into the flight control page and we can test our. Oh my god, rip. Why did my throttles just suddenly go up? Strange. Trim air off. Temp zone. Okay, fix that. And I'll just test my rudders real quick. That released the piping brake for some reason. Stops 20. Please release parking brakes. Why? Please set parking brakes. Okay. Whatever floats your boat, GSX. Whatever floats your boat. Now can you just walk away, you stupid? Oh, yeah, just do a really strange dance on the on the tug. The American airline. Don't take that seriously, okay? There we go. Just drive off, and we are clear to move. That can go on the takeoff page, that can go on the progress page. Trim the aircraft. 6.7. So I'll just quickly move it up a little bit. There you go. And that's GTFO. Alright, here we are about to be lined up on the runway. Just need to slow down slightly just so we can taxi at a safe speed. Already turn the landing lights on, just so I don't forget later. Alright, I need to look over here because we're gonna be crossing this runway.
Alright, this is 28 left. We don't want to take off this runway because it's shorter. I want to take off this runway because it's longer. It's about 400 meters longer, which is pretty important though, because... It's pretty important to be honest because... 400 meters does make a difference when you've... When you're gonna use every single square inch of the runway. Square inch? No, every single inch of the runway. I've got the transponder set as well to T R A. Just come and line up here. Right. Fifty percent. Toga. Airspeed alive. Eighty knots. Leave one. one. Rotate. A two. that lighting that is just amazing how's the rake you're up VNAV that was a really skilled startup with the clock there Flaps 10. a little bit just to help us stay on attitude. My flap zero and autopilot. Don't know why we're climbing so slowly. I'll just intervene us a little bit. Just spam the intervene button. You really shouldn't be going faster than the speed. That is one sexy screenshot. Look at that, the Golden Gate Bridge. So nice. Oh my god.
the phone. Alright, so here we are, just before the top of the send, so I need to go to the FMC and then check what altitude we're sending to. I'll choose, I'll put in 3000 for now because that's what um, I feel is most correct. Okay, 3000 feet, and I should need to switch just the Hector Pascals because we're about to enter um, airspace that uses 
Hatch of a Skull is not inches. So, there you go. And I need to set the minimums real quick. The minimums according to the charts are 203 radio. So I just pull this across and I can set it real quick. Not 230, 203. This thing is actually really hard to set. Go away. How is one supposed to set this without going too far to... Okay, minimums is set, and I should just stick up my head in real quick. If I can, there you go. Auto break is two today. And if I go into the Pro to Ref, we'll be going flaps thirty today, and one forty eight is our V Ref. There you go. The aircraft has started to descend by itself, which is perfectly normal, and... My god, we've been in the air for about 13, 13 hours and 19 minutes. Wow. Okay. A lot of the fuel pumps have been turned off, though. That's because, you know, we've been using quite a bit of fuel, obviously. Three thousand. Whole aircraft now is configured for descent and should be good to go. Okay, flaps one. And we can begin to slow down now. Now, winds at Sydney are actually 080 at 12, but when I selected the approach, the winds were actually 180, so. Um, even though we're meant to land on runway 05, and not 05, 07, um, it's actually better for us to let. Like, we have already committed to landing on runway 16 left, so. Uh, run 6 right, I mean. We've already committed to landing on the runway, so we can't change halfway through. Just saying. Anyway, so we are about 15 miles off the airport. Airport is about right. That's the airport right there. And at this stage, I, I can get out flaps 5, I think. Fla yeah, flaps 5. Nice. 
that autogen doesn't look that good though. It looks decent, but it's not perfect. Whatever. Right, already arm uh, uh, already armed the localizer. The second we capture that localizer, I'm going to altitude hold so we can just intercept it real quick. Hold the altitude here. Okay. The part can stand 2-5 in real life, apparently. Right, gear down. Flaps 10. And I'll just slow us down to the... Uh... Approach speed, which is VRF plus 5. Checked. Minimums is... 203, by the way. Frame rate is terrible, but that's just Sydney for you. Alright, flaps already out now because their setup plane just loves flaps. Uh, forget I ever said that. On the speed brake, should have done that much earlier, but whatever. Okay. So, purely by looking at the chart, I'm aiming to vacate by... Aiming to vacate on Alpha 5, so... Yeah. Okay, autopilot out. Control throttle off. And let's land this thing. We do have a slight crosswind though, so that's annoying. But, I can live with it. Sorry if my yoke is too loud, by the way. That's just how it wants to roll. Five hundred feet checked. Approaching minimums. Minimums. Continue.
quite a bit of a float, but we got down. In this case, we stop. Reverse is normal. I mean, I don't reverse. Not normal. 60 knots. Okay, keep the speed up a little bit. Alright, looks like we're getting off this taxiway. That was actually, um... We stopped faster than I intended, but... Hey! I love how the... I love how this area of the airport looks identical to San Francisco. <laughs> Turn left here, and then we can get into, our, get into our stand. AP is running. All right, turn these off just so we don't blind these people. Okay, parking brake on. Park, parking brake on, I said. Okay. Engines can come off. Nice. Jetway. And doors. Right, Chris, deboarding. And okay, let's get the chalks on now. There we go, that's a nice jetway. Parked slightly over the 747 line, but hey ho, it's what it is. <laughs> that's a nice jetway. Okay, ground power is on, so. Oh. Turn the AP off now. There's a button. Right, 
and welcome to Sydney. That was a really nice flight, actually. I really enjoyed that flight. Landing was okay, I guess, but it wasn't, it wasn't amazing. But I got down. There's engines turning off now, and GSX is deboarding the aircraft. And yeah. Oop, there goes the scenery. Turn the use off now. Turn that off so. And ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. There's Qantas Flight 74 done done and done and dusted. And uh I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.